You know, we can't win with you people. The more we use, the more we pay. The less we use, the more we pay. $53 million, total uses, $63 million. Uh, so we're projecting that uh, cash excess. Uh, Bear in mind that your, your service is no better than it was five years ago or 10 years ago. And we're paying more. That's what you've got to look at. And it's not going to get any better than it was 10 years ago. And what about sharing the pain? What is the employees doing? What are they doing on their behalf? Do they get days off? Do they get a reduced pay? What? Do they have to share the pain in this? Any kind of sharing of pain? And I have a good idea that the majority of you on the board, and Mr. Lark himself, were born, if not with a silver spoon in your mouths, were treated to the very best of everything through your growing up years. And no doubt a lot of you got a new car when you graduated from high school and then were sent off to these beautiful colleges and universities. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I would like to bring to your attention that a lot of your customers here that take all of this rate increase to heart never really had that opportunity. And they've had to hold down jobs during their high school years, and they never really could afford a college education that is really, really needed in this type of economy. And I'm sure your parents were there to help you financially when you thought something that you needed was really, really important. And so really, you never really had an opportunity to learn the concept of saving. Instead of putting through another rate increase, why don't you try gearing back all spending, in fact, maybe putting a freeze on spending, and maybe that would help cut down on a lot of waste. Many are losing their jobs, having their homes <coughs> foreclosed upon, and having their utilities shut off. It seems to be an odd time to propose a rate increase. However, I understand that everyone is hurting, including the Board of Water and Light. I am, however, confident that this knowledgeable and capable board in front of me is ex exercising due diligence while they ponder such difficult matters. I can't stand it anymore. I'm a retiree. I'm looking to leave Lansing. I'm looking to leave Lansing. I can take my retirement dollars and live better someplace else get better service for the amounts of money that I'm paying. And I'm frugal enough to understand that. So what is it? What can we do? We turn off our water. We turn off our heat. We turn off our lights. And what happens? You come back and raise it up every time. So what good is energy conservation with you folks? You're not bad people. Think about us. The board and water light will be here and will struggle along as best it can. You're killing us. You're killing us every time with your rate increases. The board of commissioners, we will consider your comments. And again, deliberation on a proposed rate increase will be taking place March 26, 2009 at 5.30. You're definitely invited to, to come and join us. <coughs> Thank you.